Welcome to World Transits Today. I'm Art Granoff. It's September 20, 2022 on World Transits, a week of plenty. Once again, the embarrassment of riches provided by the planetary archetypes. Venus with Uranus and Pluto for one week. September 22nd, the fall equinox. And September 25th, the new moon. Starting September 18th with Venus, Uranus, Pluto, Grand Trine. Outer planet party with Venus till September 27th. Love, liberation, depth. Great time to celebrate this week. What are you going to do about it? Venus Trine, Pluto, Beauty and the Beast. Classically depicted in Greek myth by Persephone with Hades. Uranus trine Pluto, liberation with intensity, quoting Ren Butler in the archetypal universe, the titanic quest for human freedom and individuation, or a tendency towards driving manic energies, fanatical idealism and obsession with change at any cost. Venus trine Uranus, new love is here, the love poem, an Exercise in Love by Diane de Prima, with Mercury conjunct Venus square Uranus in her chart. And it's called An Exercise in Love. My friend wears my scarf at his waist. I give him moonstones. He gives me shell and seaweeds. He comes from a distant city and I meet him. We will plant eggplants and celery together. He weaves me cloth. Many have brought the gifts I use for his pleasure, silk and green hills, and heron the color of dawn. My friend walks soft as a weaving on the wind. He backlights my dreams. He has built altars besides my bed. I awake in the smell of his hair and cannot remember his name or my own. Add Neptune and add sextiles. We notice Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto together in a mini grand trine through mid-November, which started in mid-August, three months of the outer planets together. Add Neptune, Venus opposite Neptune, easy access, the human heart meets the sublime, grace is flowing with highest efficacy. Venus with three outer planets till September 27th. A great week to work it out. Venus on three outer planets for one more week. September 22nd, the fall equinox. Happy fall, everybody. Today, the universe is grounded. It is the summer's last great heat. It is the fall's first chill. They meet. Sarah Brian Pyatt. And... Autumn has caught us in our summer wear. Philip Larkin, from the Farmer's Almanac. The equinox is the point in time when the sun crosses the celestial equator. It's an astronomical event or moment in time. At the exact moment of the equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator before continuing its journey north or south, depending on the time of the year. This definition explains its name and is one of the many things that make the equinox special. And interestingly, the day before and during the equinox, we have a moon Saturn Uranus T square, moon our inner youth growing, with moon Saturn bonding emotionally with tradition, form or culture stay the same, or an exigent annoyance like summer's leaving. Moon Uranus, loosening our internal belt, emotionally adventurous, fall is starting, or restless, uninvolved or distant. You've all heard Equinox by John Coltrane. I'll leave the link below. And September 25th, the new moon. Sun conjunct moon, monthly dance party as opposites unite. 
Sun lights the day, bright, bold, and hot. Moon lights the night, diffuse, tantalizing, mysterious. Regenerating energy for the moon's monthly journey. Set an intention. What do I want to manifest when the sun and the moon are together? Or is there something in the way that I may remove? Also, September 25th, Mercury, trine Uranus, intellectually stimulated, freshness in thinking, mental invigoration. And we add Pluto. It's a Mercury, Uranus, Pluto, grand trine till October 8th for two weeks. Good for a fresh, intense learning and communicating. From Robert Hunter. Wake up to find out that you are the eyes of the world. The heart has its beaches, its homeland, and thoughts of its own. Wake now, discover that you are the song that the morning brings. But the heart has its seasons, its evenings, and songs of its own. And Mercury, Mars, Neptune, T-square, till October 13th. Mercury thinks. Mars acts and Neptune melts for close to a month. A good time to think about what's ideal. Music, dance, poetry, and act it out for almost a month. Thanks for joining me on World Transits today, everybody. Covering new transits for September 2022. Watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology. You can hear the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes, place them on your chart, revealing your personal transits. See what's up for you.